Hi everyone, if you're looking for a VPS solution at the price of a shared hosting that comes with a easy to use control panel and doesn't require you to install everything via command line interface or anything like that. It should be very simple to use and should have all the basic essential features like free SSL certificates. You should be able to host multiple websites, should have email hosting and no ports should be blocked because with some other because with other VPS hosting providers like DigitalOcean and many others, they for security reasons and to prevent spam, they block the port 25, which prevents outgoing emails. So that becomes a major issue because then you have to pay extra for the email hosting and set it up again. So that becomes a lot of hassle. With this VPS solution, no ports are blocked and you can send as many emails you like. There is no such restriction. I have tested it myself and all my emails directly go to the user inbox if you set up all the email records correctly. And the best thing about this VPS is configuring your web application firewall is also very easy. You can use the mod security firewall and you can also update all the modules and everything directly from the user interface without using command line. So let's start. First thing you have to do is check the link in the description and buy exactly this VPS plan. Don't buy the completely unmanaged VPS plan. We need the cyber panel VPS. Then select the plan according to your requirements and then click on select. So this plan would be easily be able to host two small sites, but I would recommend it for only one website. And from here, select the plan duration. So if you select the longer duration plan, you will also get cheaper price at the time of renewal. So I would recommend you pick this 48 months plan to save the most money initially and also at renewal. Then the process is very simple. Create your account here using the email, then complete your payment. And if you need a coupon code, you can use my code best WP guides and click on this plus icon here. It will give you an extra discount. So you see it was 190 something, 189 and now it's 176 only. So you will get a decent discount and then simply fill the, your card details and complete the payment. So I will show you directly the next steps. Click on setup. Now here configure your VPS. In server name, put your domain name. Now select server location, which is closer to your audience. Now create root password and make sure to remember it and keep it securely. Then click on setup. Now your VPS has been created and it will take five to six minutes for the setup to complete. Continue to control panel. Now you will have to wait till the server status changes to running. Initially it will be start, then it will change to executing and finally it will stop at running. Then go to latest actions tab. Here all the process status, all the tasks here you see the status should be completed. If it is showing preparing, then our server is not ready. Once you see all the status changes to completed, then go back to server management. Now click on login details. Here click on login URL. It will open in a new tab. Here you will see this, your connection is not private SSL warning. But it is safe, it is our website and the reason you are seeing this error is because currently there is no SSL certificate for the server. Click on advance, then click on proceed to. Okay, so this is our cyber panel dashboard. Now to log in here, we have to go to server management again. Click close this pop-up notice. Then in the notes section, you will find the login details for your initial login. Username as admin. I will copy the password here. Copy it. Go back to cyber panel login page. In username, I will enter admin and in password, 
I will paste the password. We just copy and click on sign in. Okay, we have successfully logged in to the cyber panel control panel. The first thing we will do is go to users tab. From here, we will go to modify user and change the login password and our details. Select account, click on admin. Now change all these details with your personal details. Copy this password and make sure to keep it in a safe place. Then click on use. And if you want to enable additional security features, you can take this option and enable the two factor authentication using using any app like Google Authenticator. So for now, I will not enable it and keep the security level to high. Then click on modify user. Okay, so we have successfully changed the details of the admin account. Now the username and password you see in the notes section, this will not work. We will have to use the new password we just created. Let's go back to the control panel here. Now let's go to again dashboard. So let's create our first website here. Let's go to websites. Click on create website. Here select default package and owner select admin. Now type your domain name here. Then enter your email ID. Then select the latest PHP version. In additional features, take this three options. Do not take the SSL right now because it will not work properly. We will enable SSL later. Now click on create website. This process will take one or two minutes. Okay, the process is complete and you can see our website has been created successfully. Let's click on go back here. So if you want to create multiple websites, you can follow the same process and create multiple sites. Now let's install WordPress on our website. Go to website here on the left sidebar, click on list websites. From here, you can see all the websites that are currently connected to this account. Right now, you can see there is no screenshot available. So let's click on manage here. Now let's first preview our website, how it looks right now. Here you will see this option. Click on it and it will open in a new tab. So right now you can see this is the cyber panel default page. Let's go back to the control panel here. Now scroll down and at the end of the page, you will see this application installer option. Click on the WordPress option here. Now select your block title. Select your username for your WordPress login. Create login password, then enter your email ID. Then leave this path field blank. If you want to install WordPress in a directory like slash blog, then you have to put slash blog here. But I would recommend you to leave this blank. Then click on install now. Okay, so WordPress is now successfully installed and it hardly took one minute to complete it. Now again, go to websites here, go to list website. And now let's check the preview. Just refresh this page and you should see this WordPress page. But as you can see, this is not looking proper WordPress page. And the reason for that is because our domain this domain bestwpguides.xyz or whatever your website name is, is not pointing to our server currently. So now let's point our domain to our server IP. I'm using Cloudflare to manage my domain DNS records, but if you're using any other domain registrar, 
for that please check the links in the description i will post a guide for each domain registrar for example if you are using namecheap godaddy google domains the process will be slightly different because all domain registrars have different interface so please check the links in the description now i will copy this ip you can also find this ip here in the server panel dashboard cloudflare makes dns management really easy that's why i use cloudflare and if you also want to use cloudflare for dns management you can watch my other tutorials how to set up cloudflare for your website and don't worry if you do not want to use the cloudflare cdn service you can also just use it for the dns management First log in to Cloudflare then select your website and go to the DNS tab here and here you will see this option DNS management for your website click on add record the process of adding record the type of record will be same for all domain registrar so if you are using GoDaddy Namecheap or anything else you have to create the same records click type A here and name put at the rate then paste your ip address here and untick this option if you are using cloudflare for other domain registrar this option will not exist then click on save now we need to create another record go here click on c name and then name here put www dot so you will see on top here what is happening now paste the ip address this domain is will also point to this ip or you can also put it like this your main domain this wp guides dot xyz we are doing this because we are creating a cname record now untick this option and click on save now let's try to see if we can access our website directly through the domain i will go here and just remove everything else and just keep my domain name here and then press enter okay, so it is still not looking properly now let's try to issue an ssl certificate and see if that fixes the problem let's go here to the cyber panel control panel here here in website list you will see this option of issue SSL. Let's try this. Click on it. And if our domain is pointing to our server IP right now, only then the SSL certificate will be issued, else it will not. This is why we didn't select the SSL option earlier. You can see the success message here SSL successfully installed. Now let's again go to back to our website here and refresh this page. Hey, congratulations. This looks like a normal WordPress website. Let's try logging into the WordPress admin area here. Add slash WP admin and then press enter. So put the username and password we selected earlier when creating our website. Click on login. okay so you can see how now you can manage your wordpress website as you would like if you want you can create a website from scratch if you want to migrate your website here you can also do that you can watch my other tutorial to learn how to migrate wordpress website and as you saw this is how simple and easy it is to create wordpress website with the cyber panel so hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Please post your feedback in the comments. And that's it guys for this tutorial. I will see you in the next video.